कंज्यूमर डिमेंड वट इज कंज्यूमर डिमेंड दैट वी मोस्टली आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन आवर वेरियस टॉपिक हाउ वी कैन असेस दैट दिस इज द डिमेंड ऑफ ए कंज्यूमर सो इन शॉर्ट द विलिंगनेस और द अबिलिटी ऑफ द कंज्यूमर टू परचेज द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ ए कमोडिटी और अ सर्विस इन अ गिवन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम और अगर हम अगर देखें तो देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वॉन्ट द डिजायर और लाइक दिस थिंग देर कैन बी समथिंग दैट इज वेरी नेसेसरी जिसको हम कहते हैं कि दैट इज द नीड और एट द सेम टाइम वी से द कंज्यूमर की ख्वाहिश है मीन ही वॉन्ट दिस बट इकनॉमिक्स की टर्म में जो चीज कंज्यूमर मार्केट में आके डिमांड करेगा वही उसकी डिमांड कहलाएगी तो यहाँ पे हम उसकी एबिलिटी को जब तक मैयर करेंगे तो हम देखते हैं कि ओनली बाय आस्किंग फॉर एनी थिंग इट विल नॉट एंड टेल द कंज्यूमर डिमांड रादर अंटिल एंड अनलेस द ह्यूमन डिमांड इज बैक बाय द परचेजिंग पावर तो परचेजिंग पावर मीन्स द कंज्यूमर इज हैविंग सर्टन अमाउंट टू पिक द अमाउंट फ्रॉम द मार्केट ही इज हैविंग समथिंग इन हिज पॉकेट दैट्स द रीजन वी से दैट द कंज्यूमर डिमांड विल बी एग्जिबिटेड वेन द कंज्यूमर ही एंटर द मार्केट हेयर वी कैन सी फ्रॉम दैट पिक्चर दैट देर आर द वेरियस फैक्टर्स इन द अवेलेबल सीनारियो दैट डिटर्मिन द ह्यूमन consumer demand we can see that there are many other factors that do not include the price there can be the need there can be the income and the preferences the expectations and different habits of the consumer as well and when we include all these we say that this becomes the non price factors of the consumer and on the other side the one thing that is the consumer when comes to the market usko jis time market pahunchta hai to uski in tamam factors ke muqable mein jis cheez ka samna karna hota hai wo sabse pehle hai ki wo shay ya service market mein kis rate par mil rahi hai so here it is the price that determines so with the exchange of all these factor that becomes under the demand and when it is overlapped by that price factor we say that it actually makes the consumer demand and at the same time the two other thing that he has to see not only the price of its own good rather he has to face the price of its substitute and the price of the complements what are the various factors that affect the consumer demand as we know that the consumer is not having only one preference so consumer may have different preferences and not only the different preferences because consumer ko market ke andar bahut si different commodities nazar aa rahi hoti hain so for those different commodities pe consumer ka demand function different ke liye bilkul ek dusre se alagda ho sakta hai अब एक ही कमोडिटी की कीमत अगर सुबह और है और शाम और है या दूसरे दिनों में चेंज हो रही है तो विद द चेंज इन दैट प्राइस कंज्यूमर की डिमांड किसी एक कमोडिटी के लिए भी वेरी कर सकती है तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि कंज्यूमर हैव डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ प्राइसेस एंड इनकम एंड दीज डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ प्राइसेज एंड इनकम विल शेप हिज कंज्यूमर डिमांड सो द डिमांड फंक्शन depends upon prices and income in a manner that it will include the price of that good and the price of the other goods and the income so consumer demand function will actually the function of the consumer relating to his optimal choice now we see that what is the optimal choice optimal choice when he is having various bundles and out of those bundles one bundle that he is going to select so that commodities that quantity that the consumer has selected at given level of the prices and at his given level of the income 
दैट विल बी हिज कंज्यूमर डिमेंडेड बंडल तो इट मीन्स वेन द कंज्यूमर्स डिमेंड इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन इनकम एंड द प्राइस सो वेन एवर दिस इनकम एंड द प्राइस इट विल चेंज कंज्यूमर डिमेंड will change or we can say the optimal choice of the consumer it will change so here are the case when the consumers demand is going to change as we know that the commodity that the consumer is going to purchase from the market it may be different in the nature so when in a bundle consumer is having two commodities and these two commodities they are substitute to each other so we can say that x1 and x2 they both are perfect substitute so when the both commodities they are perfect substitute to each other and there is a case that the commodities price of p on the y axis it is greater and commodity on the x axis having the less price as the both are perfect substitute consumer will prefer to have that commodity that will be less burden on him so he will have more on x axis for this he will have a flatter slope of his budget line when the price of commodity on x x axis it will be more consumer will shift its demand to the other so in this way the budget line it will become steeper and when the both commodities are having the same level of the price then the consumer is having the liberty to select from any type of the bundle that is joining from commodity x1 to commodity x2 line x so in the diagram when we see there are the various type of the bundle available to consumer when he is having this type of the situation and we see in the diagram that if consumer will have a commodity whose price here that it is less than the price to so commodity will be selected on x axis if consumer will have the commodity price less on y axis then consumer will shift here and if the consumer price will be equal to price to so consumer may select any part of the commodity between these two lines and hit like this the optimal choice of the consumer that we see that the consumer is going to exhibit it depends always on one point where the consumer is having related to the budget line so when the commodity will be not the substitute rather it will become the complement so keeping in view the properties of the complements we know that for that commodities consumer always utilize them in a very fixed level of the proportion so that fixed proportion that is available to the consumer so whenever there will be change in the price of a commodity x1 there will be no effect on the purchase of the other commodity because consumer has to purchase this bundle always in the fixed proportion so whatever the change in the prices of the commodities there will be no change on the consumer demand but if there is the change in the income then there can be the change in the consumer demand and that consumer demand will change when the consumer has to purchase a bundle only available on the vertex or the diagonals available to him when we draw this diagram we see that the consumer is having one indifference curve like this and the other like this and available like any to this so keeping in view the budget line we see that up to this budget line consumer is having the optimal choice at this level at this level we see that if there will be any change in the price of the commodity x1 then it mean the slope of the budget line it may vary like this if there will be the decrease in the price of x1 whatever there will be 
the price change in the x1 or there may be the any change in the price of x2 like this so again here it will become there will be no point of optimal choice to the consumer but if there will be the change in the income right side shift it means consumer income is going to increase or left side shift like this or consumer income is going to decrease consumer will select only the optimal choice bundle that is available up to the consumer available on the budget line and also in the fixed proportion so at this point we see that the tangency of the two it occurs so consumer can have the consumer demand like this